hour, I would love to bring back to the stage our CEO and founder, Jack Newton! Yeah, let's do it again for a damn kick. That was incredible. We got some bad news and some good news. All right. Give me the, uh, the bad news first. This is the last session of the seventh annual CleoCon. The good news is we're giving away a lot of stuff and it's gonna be super fun. So let's get, let's get to it. Once again, I wanna give a huge heartfelt thank you to the uh, 90 companies and organizations that supported the 2019 Clio Cloud Conference in the way they did. Um, our diamond sponsors, LawPay and PwC Insights Officer, our gold sponsors, our silver sponsors, our bronze sponsors, sorry, let me back up, our bronze sponsors, our starter sponsors, and finally, our media and event partners. A huge thank you. If we could have a huge round of applause for these folks, the conference would not be possible without their support. So truly, a, a big heartfelt thank you. And, and look, you know, at, at the end of every Clio Cloud conference, uh, I've, I've been filled with this weird kind of simultaneous feeling of excitement and dread. I look back on the last two days and think, that was amazing, it was our best ever, and then immediately get filled with a bit of dread thinking about like, how do we top this next year? And I've felt that seven years in a row now, and it's getting, uh, it's getting a little bit tiring, but I'm also very optimistic we'll continue to do it. And once again, uh, looking back at the last two days and the keynote speakers we had at this year's Clio Cloud Conference, uh, they, were, they were just unbelievable. We had uh, Glenn Greenwald uh, open up the keynotes uh, yesterday. A really powerful speech. I think such an important speech. Uh, and I, I think we, we did exactly what we were hoping to do with, uh, with that talk, which is bring in somebody that is going to be uh, thought-provoking and make us think, think about things differently than we, uh, we may have before we walked into that speech. Uh, I know it certainly left me with a new perspective uh, on the importance of privacy. Our keynote sessions this morning, Deanna Van Buren and Shaka Senkor, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Truly uh, moving and inspirational uh, and, and look forward to, uh, Shaka will be joining us at the, uh, the evening event tonight, so I look forward to spending some more time with him. Uh, and finally, Dan Pink, that was just, uh, just awesome. <laughs> Thanks again, Dan. I saw people making a crazy number of notes during that uh, session, and uh, you know I want to want to point out with the Clio Grow scheduler now, you can decide when you want to have those client meetings, depending whether you're what your point what point you're at in your energy level. And I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all the session speakers uh, that took the time out of their uh, out of their busy days to come and join the conference and share their knowledge with you. We've truly assembled an unbelievable world-class set of speakers uh, at the conference. Uh, and, and once again, big round of applause for our session speakers, please. Thank you for joining us. And last but certainly not least, and this is a, a heartfelt thank you from, from me to all of you as well, uh, let's give a big round of applause to Team Clio who put on this event. If you're with Clio, please stand up and uh, receive your applause and recognition. You guys truly put on a phenomenal event. This, uh, this event is so important to me personally, so, and it ends up becoming such an important moment uh, in a Cleon's uh, experience at Clio, at Clio, where they look back at their time at Clio and often look at at uh, CleoCon is one of those moments that really helps shape their careers. Um, it's a demanding time. Everything that these employees do related to CleoCon is something they do over and above their day job, which I think is truly incredible. Um, and all of us, including me, find this to be one of the most energizing and inspiring experiences of the, uh, of the year. 
Uh, one of the funny comments uh, we received back from, uh, from one of the attendees was a question. Uh, did you guys, for that, that dancing you did at the beginning, did you, did you hire some paid actors to do that? There's, there's no way there's that many people from Clio on the ground here at ClioCon. And uh, there is no paid actors in that, uh, in that photo. There's truly 140 people uh, from Clio that we brought down to, uh, to execute this conference. So again, a huge thank you to Team Clio. And I just want to share a few uh, images from the last, uh, the last two days. Uh, it's just been a great experience for me walking through the, uh, the exhibit halls, seeing all the interactions happening, seeing the, uh, the smiling faces, seeing uh, real Cleons dancing through the, the aisles of the conference, uh, and just seeing, you know, the, I guess the optimism uh, that, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're famous, uh, the optimism <laughs> And the excitement uh, that existed uh, in the in the room over in, in the in the building over the last couple of days, uh, it's just been been awesome. And I hope everyone in this room has forged some new relationships uh, that will last beyond uh, ClioCon. So I guess you know the final thank you is to uh, is to you. Thank you to all of you for supporting this conference for growing this conference, for recommending the conference to a friend or a colleague and, and pulling them into this incredible community we've built over the last seven years. So please give yourself uh, a huge round of applause, a true thank you for building this conference with us. Now, let's, let's get started with giving some stuff away. Um, first of all, we are giving away a grand prize trip to Vancouver, BC where we will give you a fully uh, all expenses paid trip to beautiful Vancouver, BC. You will be able to visit Clio's headquarters. Uh, as Jesse has pointed out numerous times, you will get to spend time with Jesse. Uh, I'll take you out to dinner somewhere really nice, uh, and you'll get to spend a, a weekend in Vancouver, which is just uh, an incredible place to, uh, to live in, an incredible place to visit. So without further ado, and again, you need to be present to win. So uh, I hope you're in the room. The winner of the grand prize trip to Vancouver is Andrew Kuchera. Are you in the room, Andrew? Here you go. Congratulations, way to go. Let's get uh, a picture. Oh, amazing. Once again, congratulations. Look forward to seeing you in Vancouver soon. Okay, now we also had the, uh, the swag uh, charity project where uh, you, we saw um, actually a pretty close dead heat between uh, the three charities that we were raising and the raising money for. And the, the winner for uh, the, the most voted for charity was the David Nee Foundation, which is a foundation that supports mental health for lawyers. So we're thrilled to give $10,000 to the David Nee Foundation, uh, but we also had two really worthwhile causes that came in at second and third place. Uh, we're gonna give away an additional $2,500 to the designing, uh, or the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights, and another $2,500 for designing justice projects. Last night was an incredible night where we celebrated the third annual Riesman Awards. Uh, thank you again for everyone who came out last night to, uh, to celebrate uh, that evening. Enjoy a beautiful evening at the, the Prado, which is just a, an amazing venue. Uh, the winners, uh, for those that did not uh, attend or, or didn't manage to fit into the room, we were awarding the, uh, the awards. We have incredible videos posted uh, for the, f for the uh, five winners of the, the Reason Awards this year on the Clio blog, so sh be sure to check out those videos if you haven't already. Uh, but a huge congratulations. I'll, I'll, I'll read these out in, in order of the awards, and if you could acknowledge uh, them with applause at the end, I'd appreciate that. Legal Innovation, we had Levine Family Law Group, for best new firm, we had Advanced Law. For the best growth story, we'd had Hamra Law Group. For Community Champion, 
we had Beacon Law. And finally, for the brand new category in excellence and client service, we had Cascade Legal Planning. So again, a huge congrats to the winners of the third annual Reisman Awards. Now, we had the second annual launch code competition this year as well, where you give away $100,000 to a deserving startup. Uh, and this year, we had five really incredible finalists, Case Text, Community Lawyer, Firm Track, Haymarket, and Wise Time. And I attended the demos, the pitch sessions yesterday, uh, and I've got to say, I'm, I'm glad I wasn't on the judging panel this year because that was a, a tight race. Every single one of these uh, new integration partners released a really, really impressive app. They had really polished delivery, perfect, uh, perfect pitches across the board. Uh, I, you know, part of me was hoping to see one train wreck because those are always fun to, uh, to watch happen. <laughs> uh, and I, was, I came away disappointed. They were all uh, incredibly strong pitches. Uh, and I am thrilled to now open up the second envelope, and I truly don't know who the winner is. Uh, and although, and I made sure even though they're a sponsor of the conference, PwC was not involved in this envelope uh, process at all. I'll open it up and tell you who won $100,000. Congratulations goes to Case Text. Come on up. Okay, and before we wrap up, I want to give a, uh, a really quick overview of some of the, the key moments over the last couple of days, a couple of the takeaways that I hope, uh, I hope the, the conference this year can leave you with. Uh, number one, we talk a lot about this access to justice gap, and I think everyone you know, agrees that there's an enormous opportunity out here for the entrepreneurs in the room to realize a huge market opportunity by figuring out how we better bridge the product that is legal services with the market that is demanding legal services that are delivered uh, in new and innovative ways. This is a monstrous opportunity for everyone in this room, and uh, we're excited to co-create what that future looks like with you uh, over the next year and beyond. We released the 2019 Legal Trends Report, and I know that Trying to assimilate everything in the legal trends report over the course of the last two days is like trying to drink from a fire hose. Uh, but I hope when you get home or maybe in the flight home, you've, you've got some spare time for some reading. Uh, download the legal trends report. Read it front to back. Uh, it's available for free at clio.com slash LTR. We also introduced the law firm maturity model, which uh, I think is a really important way to frame how you look at developing your law firm into a thriving law firm. This is part of the path to developing a thriving law firm. No matter what your definition of thriving is, we think that making progress on these two dimensions sets you up for success, where you're able to be both efficient and you can deliver better client experiences. Uh, and this, this law firm maturity model, as I mentioned in the opening keynote, is something we are using deeply at Clio to inform our future product roadmap. Now, I also want to share a, a quick personal story um, uh, relating to the, uh, the book that I announced in the opening keynote and will be releasing in early, uh, early next year. Uh, this is my daughter, Isla, and uh, my, 
uh, our creative director at Clio, uh, Danielle Giroux, we, we were looking at uh, dozens and dozens of potential cover designs for, uh, for my new book. Uh, and I, I didn't like any of them. And I, I think Danielle was getting a little bit frustrated with me and said, you know, I, I wanted this concept of a circle to, to talk about the client-centered law firm. Uh, and again, looked at dozens and dozens of, of options and wasn't happy with any of them. Uh, and, and we were just brainstorming what to do, and she said, why don't you get your kids to draw the cover? Um, and that's, uh, that's exactly what I did. And so I went home and I said, Isla, you're not going to get paid for this, but I'd love for you to uh, design uh, the cover of, of, of uh, my new book. Uh, and her two brothers, Patrick and Ian, pitched in on this, uh, this process as well uh, and used these watercolors here to paint uh, the image for uh, the front of the book. Uh, and then Danielle, uh, in her you know, wildly creative ways, uh, adapted this, made it digital, and uh, adapted this to the cover of the book design uh, that we're, uh, we're using for the book that will go live in January of 2020. Um, so I guess for me, a big thank you to Isla and the kids. I, I'm actually very happy with the, uh, the cover design we ended up with. And again, a, uh, a reminder that uh, the book is available for pre-order on uh, Amazon and virtually every other place you can, you can buy books. So uh, please go ahead and uh, order a preview copy. I really look forward to hearing people's feedback on this book uh, when it's released. Uh, I'm certainly energized and excited by some of the early feedback uh, I'm getting, and uh, this is really important to me as part of the, the transformation we're trying to drive with Clio to, uh, to package up some of my, my thoughts on what I think the change for the industry should look like. It's something I've been talking about for over, over a decade, and it was uh, really great to actually lay all of these thoughts out in a way that I can share, uh, shout, share outward in a really structured way. We released a ton of product enhancements over the last two days, and I hope everyone's excited. I'm not going to read through every single one of these, uh, but I hope everyone is excited by the innovations they see happening at Clio. We are moving faster than we ever have on the product development front, and you're going to see the pace of innovation with Clio just accelerate over the next year as we put our new capital to work, as we build out our team, uh, the Team Clio is already almost 500 people strong, if you can believe it, uh, and we added uh, 100 people to the company just over the last year alone. So it's, it's an incredible rate of growth, uh, but the good news for all of you is that just means accelerating innovation, accelerating product development, new things arriving faster all the time. A good example of where velocity is really picking up is on the mobile side. This new ground-up reimagining and re-architecture of our mobile app has set us up for velocity in mobile development. And uh, over the next year, you'll see unbelievable new features coming out for, from us uh, in mobile, new, potentially new applications as well. Uh, the law firm dashboard, uh, we had uh, an unbelievable response from everyone over the last two days where, where folks signed up uh, for the early access beta. Please give us feedback on what you would like to see added to the firm per performance dashboard new reports that you'd like to see. Uh, and finally, I think one of the features we got so much positive feedback on over the last two days, and again, you'll see us doubling down on this kind of development, is uh, the Clio Grow Scheduler, which makes it really easy for your clients to book appointments with you. And again, we're going to be releasing functionality that allows your clients to give you payments via the Clio Grow Scheduler easy as well. And as I mentioned previously, the law firm maturity model gives us a framework for how we're thinking about product development we're doing at Clio. This is something that our entire product team is using to think about the kinds of features we're developing. We'd love to hear feedback from you in terms of what kinds of features you think fit into this top right quadrant of the law firm maturity model that you'd like to see us developing and innovating on. So I hope everyone is leaving this conference feeling like uh, the, the path to thriving that we promised at the beginning of the conference uh, is something we've delivered on and that our uh, speakers that have spoken to you over the last two days have delivered on. Uh, I hope everyone is leaving inspired and optimistic about what they can do with their law firms over the next, uh, over the next year. Uh, and we hope to see everyone in this room 
uh, back at ClioCon 2020. And to wrap up my concluding remarks, I'd love to give you information on where Clio Cloud Conference 2020 uh, is happening uh, and how we're going to be pricing it. So first of all, in terms of the location, guesses in terms of where we're going? So Seattle? Hawaii? San Diego? San Diego is a great guess. And we are coming back to beautiful, sunny San Diego, October 15th to 16th, 2020. So again, we'll be back, we'll be better and bigger uh, than ever right here at the Manchester Grand Hyatt, which has just proven to be an unbelievable venue, a beautiful hotel. Uh, and I think everyone uh, is going to be thrilled to be returning here. We could, certainly couldn't have hoped for a more beautiful venue or, or frankly, better weather. Uh, to enjoy over the last two days. Now, as usual, we have some, uh, some pricing announcements at the closing keynote as well. So our full conference ticket uh, for Cloud 2020 will be $1,299. But nobody in this room needs to pay that to get back here next year. We are launching a $399 attendee exclusive that will be the lowest price you're ever able to get on the conference. So that's $399 for one pass, or $299 um, each if you're buying four plus passes. So I've talked to plenty of people over the last two days that either are, came back to ClioCon after attending Solo the first time and said, I brought my entire law office with me, and this is the best two days I've spent. Who did that, by the way? Yeah, let's hear some cheers. Who did that and was happy with that decision this year? So if you came here solo and you felt you like you learned a lot, but you also felt like you missed, missed out on a bunch of sessions uh, but could have attended more, uh, please think about bringing your entire law office next year. And we try to price this such that we make this really accessible. Now, there's a catch. It's the first 500 passes that get sold that will have the special attendee pricing in here. Um, and you don't need to count there's more than 500 people in this room. So get online, register, and be one of the first 500 people to sign up for next year. Commit early, um, and uh, you will get this unbelievable rock bottom price. It, it will literally never be cheaper to buy a ticket for ClioCon than the pricing you're seeing on screen right now. I also want to highlight the fact that we've got one of the best refund policies in the industry if, for whatever reason, you buy this ticket, uh, almost a year out from the date, and you get a court date or some other, uh, something else that interferes with this date on your calendar, we will give you a full refund, no questions asked, before August 14th, 2020, uh, and we will allow you to transfer the ticket to somebody else free of charge right up to the event date. So you can commit early for this conference, circle that date on your calendar, um, and even when the 500 bare bottom pricing tickets go uh, are sold, uh, we'll still have uh, special super early bird pricing available to everyone that registers far in advance. So you're going to get unbelievable pricing no matter when you buy over the next month, but you will get the best pricing possible if you're one of the first 500 people through the door here. Uh, so you can buy tickets online. I'm sorry, at the link that I just took off the screen, clue.com slash San Diego 2020. Uh, you can also go to the registration desk on the floor here. Um, and, uh, and sign up in person and get your tickets issued right here. Now, the final ask I have of all of you is uh, to please complete the survey that you have in front of you in paper form, or you'll receive an electronic survey via email following the conference. Uh, we, uh, we, we walk the walk when it comes to listening to feedback. Uh, we, we read each and every one of these surveys. I personally read each and every one of these surveys to understand what you want to see in next year's conference and uh, what keynote speakers you'd like to see, what session speakers you'd like to see us invite to, invite to the conference, any other feedback you may have on the conference. So please take the time to give us feedback on what we could be doing better because we do pay attention to it and we really value it. So to conclude, Look forward to seeing you in San Diego, October 15th and 16th, 2020. 
This has been uh, an incredible two days. I'm so thrilled that you joined us here. This uh, exclusive attendee discount, a reminder, expires on October 28th. And this has been amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next year. Thank you.